In this example, we're going to look at writing a MATLAB script M file to calculate some properties of a steel I-beam. Steel I-beams are commonly used as structural members in buildings. You've probably seen one before. What we want to do is write a MATLAB script M file that does the following. It's going to define the I-beam dimensions L, T, H, and W. It's going to calculate the cross-sectional area of the beam, calculate the mass of the beam, with the density of steel being 7.85 grams per cubic centimeter, and then it's going to report the mass to the nearest tenth of a kilogram. So before we go to MATLAB, one thing we need to do is figure out how to do these calculations. So if we want to calculate the cross-sectional area of the beam, we can recognize that what we have here is basically this is the area that we're going to calculate and we have three rectangles let's call this rectangle one and this one rectangle two and this one rectangle three and so we know that the area of rectangle one is just the thickness T times the width W. And that's going to be the same as the area of rectangle 3. And the area of rectangle 2 is again going to be the thickness times, and it's going to be the height there, minus twice the thickness. So the total area of the cross section is going to be, sorry, this last one here was A2. And so the total area is going to be A1 plus A2 plus A3, or 2 times A1 plus A2. Now the volume of the beam would just be the area, cross-sectional area, times the length. And then the mass of the beam would just be the volume times the density all that row. That's the density. So let's look at a MATLAB script that does most of this calculation. So here's the script M file that I wrote. Up top you see we have the help comments to describe what the problem is doing. Here we define all the variables or geometry with those variables all in centimeters. And then here's our calculations down here. We calculate the area. Notice I'm using descriptive variable names instead of just the single letters. I'm using variable names width, thickness, height, and length to make this a little bit easier to see what's going on. And we calculate the area, then the volume, then the mass. And then what we need to do is report that mass to the nearest tenth of a kilogram. So Let's go over to MATLAB and figure out how to do that. We need to use MATLAB to, to round the mass for us. So let's see how we can use MATLAB to do a rounding problem for us. So I've kind of left this blank, and we will complete this over in MATLAB. OK, so now I'm zoomed in on the MATLAB command window. And what we need to figure out is how to round a number to the nearest tenth. So we want to round to the nearest tenth writing some notes here for you. So we're hoping MATLAB has a built-in function for rounding so what I'm going to do is use the function browser so I will click over here on the function browser and I'll type round in the search and there's a function there round and it says round to the nearest integer y equals round x rounds the elements of x to the nearest integer so let's use that function, the round function, but that goes to the nearest integer. So what I can do, let's say I've got a number, um, let's call it uh, A, and that's equal to 100.123. And we want to round that, and we, hopefully it will go to 100.1, which would be to a tenth. That's the problem we need to solve to finish up this MATLAB script. So what I can do is I can just use the round function, round, 
and I will before I send it to the round function I'm going to multiply it times 10 so 10 times a so I'll round the quantity 10 times a to the nearest integer and then take that result and divide by 10 let's see what we get 100.1 that's exactly what we want so this is an example of often what you'll be doing when you're working with MATLAB you write a script and then you get to some part of a script where you're not exactly sure how to do what you want to do so then you go into the command window use the help system try some things out and once you get it figured out you can go back to your script and finish it up so let's do that now okay so now I'm in the editor window and I just want to finish this up so we want to round that mass result to the nearest integer and what we figured out we can do is we'll first uh, take our mass we'll call it mass let's call it mass kg for mass in kilograms that's going to be equal to mass so from our units before that mass is in grams so if we just divide that by a thousand that would be our mass in kilograms and then to round it we'll say mass kilogram rounded just to be as descriptive as possible is equal to round of 10 times mass kg and then after we round 10 times it to get it to the tenth we will divide by 10 and we'll leave a semicolon off that so that that displays and that finishes up the script so what I'm going to do now is save it it's called ibeam.m and then let's go ahead and run it over in the command window so let's bring up the command window and to run it I'm just going to type ibeam at the command prompt and when we type it there we go there's the area there's the mass in grams and here's the mass kilograms rounded so one thing I'm seeing here is we don't really want to show this we only want to report the rounded result where the mass in kilograms is rounded to 394.5 so the way we can fix that is we'll go back to the editor and put another semicolon right there and let's save it so this time let's try running it and let's try running it one command at a time as I showed in the other video so what I'm gonna do is put a breakpoint I just put a breakpoint here at line 5 at the first command so I'm just gonna click there and that creates a red dot which puts a breakpoint at line 5 this time I will run the script a different way remember there's three ways to run a script this time I'm gonna go up here and click the run button so notice what happens now that I've set that breakpoint when I click the run button it doesn't run the whole script it brings this green arrow here to the width um, command where we set the variable width equal to 20 what I'm going to do here is see if I can shrink this and we will be able to watch as we run it the command window is down here underneath and as we step through we will see some things show up in the command window okay so now we will step forward executing that command with the step button notice now the green arrow has moved down to line six now down to line seven down to line eight I'm stepping through down to line ten we're about to enter the density down to line thirteen notice when we execute line 13 we're seeing the change down below here in the command window where we calculated the area step again to calculate the volume step again to calculate the mass step again to convert it to kilograms and step again to round that to the nearest tenth and you'll see the command window just below here again where we have our final result and if I step one more time then we are done executing the script so as we get into more complicated programming it will 
become more and more useful to step through and execute things line by line so that you can really understand what your program or what your script is doing. And that concludes this example.